are kind of just geared about the kids and the teams and we found out you get to pick a charity and that some of the profits were going to go towards the charity. The kids were really excited about that. So we chose the Kylie Rowan Foundation. Kylie was a three-year-old who died of neuroblastoma cancer. Girls are all wearing ribbons that say Kylie Strong in their hair and we have a banner. It's just to us it's really important because we're showing the kids that you can do things to help other people. I think the more we do that, the more we'll teach our youth about putting other people before themselves. You never take for granted the help that you have and the fact that you're able to do this sport when there's other kids that are in hospitals. And every year you get a choice to pick so many competitions before you go to your required state and regional meets. And the fact that you're teaching your kids about charities and you can pick a different charity every year, I think it's a meet that people should look at coming to. <laughs> Samantha Woolley from Peak Elite Gymnastics Academy and we are here supporting Special Olympics Oregon. This is Abby. She is a junior at Corvallis High School. She's participated in bocce ball, unified basketball, and bowling for Special Olympics. It just means a whole bunch to me. It just really helps me feel like closer with my gym family and my actual home. Samantha is an amazing human being. We see her passion in the sport. And I would see her passion for being a, big, being a sister to, um, to Abby. We want to make sure that Abby is included in our activities and feels special and gets to be a part of the needs and part of Samantha's gymnastics career. How often do you go to a competition and get to have a charity of your choice? You go for the medals, which is very exciting, but how often does what you do in four hours impact your community as a whole? Uh, tons of kids coming to compete and each one has their own opportunity to give back, um, no matter what level, what age, and so that's pretty exciting. I guess that it's not just about gymnastics and it's about um, everybody else who may not be able to compete with us but compete in their own program and strive there. My name is Jesse Dell. I am the head coach at Wing Center in Boise, Idaho. We approach the meet with the, the purpose of not winning, but for the cause. That's, that gives them motivation to actually work harder in the gym. Uh, we're competing for uh, American Cancer Society. My sister was just diagnosed with uh, stage three colon cancer. So we thought it was important to do that this year. One of the big reasons that we, we coach kids is to give them a better life and give them opportunities through sport or education or building character, learning discipline, learning understanding, learning sportsmanship. What we do as coaches is give back. I can't be uh, more grateful to have someone like Sandy and Brian that do this thing and want to give back to the communities. It's not about making money about giving. I would quote my late father-in-law and just his motto. He was also a coach. Have fun, strive for a PR, and make a new friend.
Flathead Gymnastics Academy in Whitefish, Montana. I'm a level 10 and I'm a senior in high school. Hi, I'm Mom, <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> Been at this a long time. I remember coming as a level 4 and everyone just showed up and it was kind of like a normal gymnastics competition. But now everyone comes in special like Leos to support their cause and it's like everyone's competing for the bigger picture. It's not just about you or your team, it's about competing for a bigger cause and something that's going to benefit more than just your gymnastics and your team. We've been so honored that our gym has chosen to um, compete for the charity of my dad with his ALS. He was diagnosed with ALS 12 years ago and it's just incredible that every year we get to come and compete for his cause and for all the other families out there battling ALS. My dad has been absolutely one of the biggest supporters to be able to come out here and just show him a little extra love. Had so much taken away from him in his life that it's really great to spread you know, awareness of ALS and to give something back to him. I always realize that when I'm competing for a bigger cause or something that's bigger than myself or my team, I'm usually having more fun. It feels really good to be able to compete knowing that what you're doing out on the floor can really make an impact on someone else's life. Definitely don't give up. You can work hard for anything that you want and you have so many opportunities every day and whether every day is perfect or not, there's always a way that you can get better. Really keeping that passion for the sport lit and just really enjoying it, every experience, every opportunity. And the biggest thing is just to make sure you're always having fun because that's what the sport's all about.